Hello and welcome to Ascending Without Wings. My name is Raina and I will be doing your reading for the 2nd to the 8th of December 2019. And this will be for the sign of Taurus. So, I do apologize to my subscribers that have been waiting for readings. Um, have been MIA for a while. But I am back and ready to get on with it. So, let's start off this reading with a few energy oracle cards. To see what's playing out for Taurus this week. One not so light field card has just already flown out. Another one that I already received this week, being fellow Taurus. And a mystery card. Let's see. Oh, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Ooh, we have four cards actually. Let's pick this out one moment. Wow, Taurus, you got some interesting energies playing out for you this week. Starting off with, just let you have it, number 25, Deceit. I don't like it. It's not a very nice card. Really don't like this card. Um, <clears throat> wow, so much red. Uh, a lot of root chakra energy. Someone playing power games. <laughs> um, to do with your stability, your sense of stability. Because root chakra is all about your sense of stability, security, your home. Um, you know, residential situation, maybe you're in a situation where you're sharing accommodation or you're in uh, property separation, things like that, when relationship breakdowns happen. Um, this is a person dressed all in red, looking quite, well, <laughs> almost vindictive. I don't know, that expression to me, like, I'm gonna get you and I have all your money in my hands, so I've got you right where I want. I just get this very unpleasant energy, somebody trying to deceive you or withhold information, um, you know, lying by omission as well. This could be friend, family, anybody. This is just the overall energy that's playing out for us this week. Um, not so much fun, but I feel like it actually was stuck. Envy was stuck to it as well. So number 20, Envy was stuck to it. Um, so someone's envious of you maybe where you're at in life at the moment possibly you've started ascending other people in your life have not and you're making changes and shifts in your life and those around you may not be so they're a little bit envious they're kind of like looking at your world like wow everything's made of gold in Taurus's world um I want a bit of that and possibly trying to deceive you um in some way to be able to get in on that and you know Take a little bit of the gold that's in Taurus as well, um, in some way, shape or form. This is just overall energy. So, you know, it might be the fact that you're seen as this amazing um, presence in other people's lives and there's a bit of envy or a bit of um, jealousy there over things like that. And people might be trying to play games and, you know, play people against each other. If they're envious of um, the value other people put on you, then they could be trying to Blah, 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 blah. you know they're not Taurus isn't that much of a nice person really like it's all just a show blah 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 you know what I've had that before and if there are people that are <laughs> fickle enough to listen to that kind of thing and actually fall for it and you know stop associating with you or having anything to do with you just based on what other people are saying they're not worth having in your life in the first place so I actually see this as a blessing in disguise just saying, Taurus. Just saying. <laughs> okay, next card that we have, much nicer energy, is action. I actually had this card come up yesterday um, on Facebook. I think Voice of Seraphim pulled this card yesterday. And I resonated with it so much. That's precisely why I'm here today. <laughs> um, because there is always the you know inspiration or the guidance that comes to the crown. And then you need to manifest that into action through your own force of will. And sitting around hoping that things are going to fall into place or circumstances are going to be perfectly ideal for you. Um, sorry, birds. <laughs> um, it doesn't always happen, guys. There's not always going to be a perfect time for things. So if there's something that you are in feeling inspired about and you've been guided to take action on and you haven't, much like myself, for many months now, um, do it, Taurus. It's also number 17. 17's a pretty powerful number. Um, I don't actually recall off the top of my head right now what the meaning is, but I would recommend looking it up. Um, my 
preferred site for looking up numerology is the Joanne Sacred Scribe um, website because I know that is channeled from angels. So I do recommend it. Um, so yeah, Taurus, a bit of action is required this week. I feel like a lot of us have quite literally a fire <laughs> in our soul, in our solar plexus area, and there's something that we really want to sink our teeth into. Like, we really want to take with both hands and go for it. Okay, um, me personally, it's tarot and rescuing cats. Like, there have been things that have been very close to, dear to my heart all my life, and you know, just giving you an example, I'm sure that you've got your own thing going on where, you know, even as a child, you were kind of like, oh, that's so awesome, I like it, da, 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 and got into it, did your research, whatever it may be. Is there something like that that you haven't taken action on where your soul is literally yearning for you to get into this? Whatever it is, it's a hobby, learning something new, you know, sharing the knowledge that you've gained along your own ascension journey with other people in any way, shape or form, whatever you feel inspired to do, do it guys. Seriously, stop trying to live your life according to other people. You are living your life. Don't let other people decide what happens in your life for you. Okay? <laughs> I really feel like that's a big part of this. Why some of us haven't taken action is because we're so worried about the responses and the reactions of the people in our lives. Our loved ones, family, friends, um, colleagues even. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's getting warm in here. Um, always gets warm when you're channeling. Right, um, and the next card, lovely energy, is um, number 45, man holding a heart. So, those of you who are masculine, doesn't necessarily, it could be a masculine energy holding a heart. So, you know, this could be a new friend that you have in your life, this could be a new partner, anything like that, but there is someone holding a very special space in their heart for you, I believe, Taurus. Um, someone, male or female, that sees you as a gift <laughs> um, and they really actually see you for what you are. It's a really beautiful energy that I'm feeling off this. I am almost getting emotional um, because it's kind of like, this is not, there's no filters to the way this person sees you. Like they're, the actual heart itself is what they're holding. Okay. So, it's the purity of it, um, the authenticity of it. Um, I love it, okay? <laughs> you have a connection that is very heart-based and very pure in your life. Um, and whether that's a friend, a partner, a family member, it doesn't matter who, but regardless, um, it's a beautiful connection. So considering the two energies that we started the week off with, I think that's a beautiful one to end it with. But now let's move on to some tarot cards. I did the, give these a really good shuffle before... Um, I started recording, but I would give them a couple of shuffles. Now let's see what Archangel Michael and my guides would like to tell all my lovely Tauruses out there about this week. Um, I'm not really going to do past, present, future. I'm just going to do whatever messages want to come through. And we'll just analyze as we go. Cab off the rank is the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Knight of Wands is a very passionate energy, but it's also very <laughs> one night standy energy, isn't it? Um, that's why I laugh. It's like, hey, someone's feeling pretty. <laughs> Sorry, Doris. Uh, nothing wrong with that. They're all human. Or so called. Whoa. Okay, Michael, that's enough, I believe. Oh my lord. Let me just check out these cards first. I've got some interesting collection happening here. Oh. oh, these cards are Taurus. So you got eight cards. Alright. Um any clarifies needed? Nope. Are they in the right order? Okay. Excuse me. All right, Taurus, we got eight cards for you this week. <laughs> it's a, uh, a week of interesting energy. Let's just say that. Um, all right, so uh, I feel like there is a, a very passionate, fiery energy in your life, whether this is in the form of a person, but this is some, there is so much passion. I really feel <laughs> the passion there. There's excitement. 
So as I was saying earlier with the action card, if there's something that you're really fired up about, like quite literally has set your soul on fire, you want to sink your teeth into it, you want to get into it, you want to start this thing and it's been turning away in there within your solar plexus, even, we've even got the yellow and we've got the orange of the sacral, okay? So it's very passionate, fiery energy and also energy of creation, okay? Fire burns and destroys things, but it also rejuvenates and replenishes. Like there are bushfires going on all over the world and yep, I'm in Sydney in Australia and I can tell you there's places not that far from here that have been on fire for ages. But this is the thing, it's like rising, like that saying of, you know, burning to ashes like the phoenix and then rising from those ashes. Um, rebirth comes after destruction. So for a lot of you, I feel like the reason why this is coming up is because you've been through a really, really hard time and you almost like a dark night of the soul, breakneck ascension almost. Um, and it usually takes a bit of upset in life for that to happen, but you're finally finding your own fire within your own night of ones within. Okay. And for others of you, this could be somebody in your life who's feeling extremely excited about having you in their life. Um, they may or may not want to pursue a relationship, but they're feeling very excited about and very lusty over you, basically. Um, that, that, you know, not all attention is good attention for us. Um, we know that, don't we? Um, so yeah, this could be a fire sign that's sort of a bit fiery. They've gone through a bit of growth, but they're still quite immature, okay? They're still a knight, not a king. You need a king, Taurus. Because you're a queen or a king needs, anyway, vice versa, okay? Whether you're a king needing a queen or a queen needing a king. Either way, we don't mess around with knights. I'm just saying. Um, so yeah, this definitely could be somebody coming your way, uh, feeling a little bit excited about having you in your life, trying to possibly get very cozy. Um, and the only reason why I'm not anti this is because it's actually followed up by the three of oh, pentacles. So I feel like somebody's excited about having you in their life because they're recognizing who you are or they see you for what you truly are now. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. It's like your authentic self, your true inner self is coming out Taurus. And trust me, it takes a bit of getting shaken up and getting rattled out of your comfort zone for you to find your true inner authentic self and to bring that out, especially after you have muzzled that for friends, family, partners, anybody okay we all do it i am guilty 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 of all of these things as much as the next guy but this is why we're all ascending this is why we're all waking up because it's like our souls in there screaming going hey let me out let me out come on man <laughs> i need to come out i know what we're supposed to be doing just let me guide the way man and that's what's happening is we're actually listening and we're starting to bring that out and that it helps us recognize who and what we're here for. <laughs> so yeah, who and what we're here for. Yeah, technically that applies. Um, but also it helps the people around us to recognize who we are and what we truly are, our real self. Um, so yeah, Taurus, someone's feeling fiery over that. <laughs> I really feel that. But this is what I mean. Like this, where you're at at the moment, your personal energy, your fire, just your awesome, wow or are basically i feel like there's something about you taurus <laughs> that people are just like damn damn taurus <laughs> no no one's gonna complain about that right taurus but as i was saying it's been hard fought for because you've got the judgment card this amazing fucking excuse my language um personal um passion and fire and this amazing energy and aura that you have about you because you really see your true self you've really tapped into your real self and other people are seeing that as well has only come because you've been through the trenches my friend okay the judgment card is about an epiphany a realization a hard moment a major turning point it's like hitting rock bottom and then actually getting back up again and climbing back up out of that depth of your despair basically okay so it hasn't been an easy road. It's been very emotional, very intense. And very healing at the same time, because actually you can see a lot of water in that card flowing in the, in the background as well. But it's quite literally like people rising from the dead, like you were dead and out for the count, Taurus, and you're back 
You are rising from the dead. You know why? Because you know that it's time to heal the heartache, okay? For some of you, the realizations and epiphanies that you're having are truly heartbreaking, okay? But your heart needs to break for it to heal properly again, all right? So please don't think of this week as being really, really, really traumatic because I can see for a lot of us, there is some intense energy playing out. There's a lot of very deep soul stuff coming up. There's um, manipulative kind of, you know, not very light field energy coming our way from other people, I feel. Um, but also within us, we've got realizations and epiphanies, things like actually realizing that it's time to let people, places and things go. Sometimes you go through breakups and you're not quite letting go because somewhere in the back of your mind, you're still defending this person and still holding some sort of like, oh, you know, but they're so lovely. Um, you know, they'll come back, da, 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 da. And you may not realize it. So this could be a realization that you're holding on to a lot of heartbreak, that if you just let it flow, let the tears flow, let it go, eventually these swords will actually disappear and you will heal because trust me, Taurus, you wanna heal. Because next up, we got the Knight of Cups. Okay, this traditionally is known as the proposal card. All right, Taurus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little bit like what? <laughs> So uh, epiphanies, uh, realizations, a bit of heartbreak, or maybe even this is the reason why I'm saying not necessarily heartbreak is that you realize how much your heart has broken and that's instigating your healing. And there's a lot of healing. I personally feel like the pain is always followed by healing. If you feel the pain, if you are willing to go through the pain, not go around it and try and numb it and avoid it. Taurus, we're tougher than that. <laughs> we're much tougher than that. But... That's what I'm saying. Healing is a very, it takes strength to actually pursue your healing. Okay, to actually go, I need to dig myself out from under this grief or this sadness or this thing that has hurt me, has left me on the floor. Okay. Um, whatever it was that had you really not wanting to go on anymore and quite literally, you know, drowning in clouds of tears all day long, almost, maybe on the inside, not necessarily on the outside for all of us, Taurus. I know some of us just do not like to see pe have people see us crying. It's just what it is, okay? Just, we're too staunch for that stuff, <laughs> <All right. laughs> We'll support others when they cry, but we don't like people seeing us cry. It's weird, I know. Anyway, uh, this lovely Knight of Cups, okay, uh, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, but, this could be a person that's been on a journey of their own personal spiritual growth and their cup is quite full and so they're ready to find somebody that cup is also full and meet someone halfway. But they've been on a very, very long journey and it's taken a while to get there. Now, this could be you, Taurus. This could be somebody in your life. Um, but it's pretty beautiful to have the ultimate heartbreak card followed by a profound offering of love. Okay, cups represents love, <laughs> emotions. Um, so this is, it's almost like somebody pouring their heart out to that saying, you know. Um, but so that cup has a lot of emotion in it. And like, Taurus, I don't know what's going on, but you got two nights, okay? <clears throat> what are you doing, Taurus? What's going on in your life, hey? <laughs> uh, a sign, what a sign. After heartbreak, you've got potentially two suitors making an offering. One that's extremely slow moving, but very, very steady. But oh my God, it will make you cry how slow they are. That black horse is a workhorse. It moves very slowly and very steadily, but it were, moves for a purpose, okay? So when it moves, it will move. Great. But do you have the patience, Taurus? Because I feel like this... I feel like you're ready to make this offering to someone. Maybe that person is this um, Knight of Pentacles. Um, and they're moving very slowly or vice versa. And it's almost as if you know who and what 
who you want to be with, but they're not necessarily ready. <laughs> they're at a different place in their life. And that'll take a lot of patience, Taurus. Um, it will take a lot of patience if that is the case. All right. But you got to ask yourself, <laughs> is this person worth the wait? Is this person worth, um, you know, your time and energy and the investment that you're going to put in? Because at the end of the day, if you don't see the value in this person, do not hold on to them and do not waste their time. Okay. <laughs> if you don't see that this person could be like, you know, your person, don't waste their time. And also for other Tauruses, we've already covered the ground of you could be ready to make an offer to this person, but they're moving very slowly. Um, could also be a case of you've got two people in your life, one that knows that you are the most precious thing that they've got in their life, but moving very, very slowly. Another one that has been through a whole bunch of stuff and is in a completely different place in their life that's ready to offer you what you want. You're happily ever after, so to speak, is technically the proposal card. Okay. So, wow, Taurus, man holding a heart. Could be two men holding a heart, two men holding your heart. Men or women, sorry, I apologize. Um, so, oh, I would really love some feedback on this reading because this is a bit of a head spin. Um, all right. Mm, the next card that we have for this week, Taurus, is the Seven of Wands. So it's really interesting because you've kind of got a bit of attention coming into your life, but it's kind of like, hey, I haven't been in this circus only once. All right, buddy. <laughs> this Taurus knows their way around life and a little bit streetwise. So do not think that I'm going to get caught up in your woo, -woo, -woo because I'm a solid, consistent big sign. All right, buddy. I really feel that energy at the moment because it's kind of like, okay, we had the card of deceit, yeah? And we started off with a Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, mind you, has ended up directly above the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this Knight of Wands energy could actually be related to the Knight of Cups. And Knight of Wands, very one night stand, flaky energy. Could Le Flaky be changing into not so flaky? Now, that could be a positive thing. However, Head over heart decisions, Taurus. They always come up for people. You have been through a lot in life, Taurus. You've grown a lot. And you've had people that have taken you for granted. You've had people that have basically discarded you and not been particularly nice to you and not recognized who and what you truly are. I'm not sure if I said they've taken you for granted because yeah, I'm pretty sure we all have had that experience, okay? But right now you need to stand your ground and know your worth because you're worth a lot more than some people will give you, okay? And you need to know how far you've come in life. You need to know that you are as important and as loved and as valuable as the next person. And then you need to express it, okay? You need to speak your truth, Taurus, because the Knight of Swords, sorry, King of Swords, here we are. See, Taurus, I told you, you're a king or a queen. Nah. All right, King of Swords energy any Taurus embodying that is brilliant because literally the King of Swords has been through a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. Like you can even see the butterflies on his throne. Okay. He has transformed. He has been through the trenches, but he's not a bitter or a harsh person because of it. He has healed all of the pain that he's been through. He's actually located directly beneath the Three of Swords. So as I was saying, there's healing going on. There may have been pain in the past. There may even be pain going on recently in the last few weeks. Things playing out with people, you know, misunderstandings. It's been Mercury retrograde after all. I'm sure we've all felt certain little communication pangs, shall we call them? <laughs> right. um, but the fact that you're, we're ending the week embodying the King of Swords energy. We're speaking our truth from the heart without any bitterness or resentment. Okay. And we're standing in our authenticity and our power. And I really like it, Taurus, but this reading is going to get very long if I don't get on with it. So I really hope that you guys got some messages <laughs> and it resonated. I'm going to finish the reading off with just a couple of cards from the Aboriginal Dreaming deck. It's cool little cards. These are pretty um, 
powerful little cards. So, <clears throat> Michael, what would you like to tell Taurus for this week? Let's end it with some good advice. Okay. So, <laughs> the first one we have is joy. Lighten up. Find the hidden inner child. Sorry, find that hidden inner child and have a play date. Laugh, be silly, dance, and sing. It's time to have fun again. Yes, Taurus! Oh, quite literally, on the weekend, I was like, I don't have enough fun. I want to muck around. I want to go splashing puddles after it's been raining. Be a kid again. I don't care. <laughs> I want to have some fun. So yeah, time to have some fun, Taurus. Okay. And the next one we have is amazement. So it says, you have worked hard to get everything just the way it is right now. Trust and enjoy this moment. Everything is as it should be. Exactly, Taurus. And then let go and enjoy the moment. Enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, and then we have breathe. No breath, sorry. Take a few deep breaths and accept that some things just don't make much sense. Soon enough, everyone will come to their senses to see the situation for what it is. Very nice. Everybody will see the truth in the situation, especially if you speak your truth, Taurus. Sometimes people need to be told how it is, especially when they're being a bit deluded and a bit trippy. All right, and the last one we have is decisions. Oh, Lord, Taurus. <laughs> um, it's your decision whether you keep this up or let it go. But continue, continuing will not change the circumstances or the outcome. Not the note I would have liked to end this reading on, but... I must end it now. So thank you very much for joining me, Taurus. And I really hope that resonated. Sending everybody as much love and light as you all need. Um, hang in there. Have a good week. And I will see you again next week. Definitely.